Hi, my name is Jonathan Goffman from the Winship Cancer Institute of Emory University in Atlanta, Georgia. And today I'll be presenting uh, data that was recently presented at the European Hematology Association meeting in 2022. The, I'll be presenting an update of Medacafus Alpha, previously known as TAC-573, um, in the phase one, phase two study. This Medacafus has a unique mechanism of action. It is a fusion protein of an IgG4 um, monoclonal antibody targeting CD38. And on the FC portion is fused interferon uh, alpha 2b. And uh, basically the, 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 Ig, the immunoglobulin itself, the antibody itself is not functional. And it's purely given as a delivery device to, um, to deliver the attenuated interferon directly to CD38 positive cells. And so we don't expect the systemic toxicities that one would typically see with interferon alpha. By delivering interferon alpha directly to CD38 positive cells, we could activate um, uh, the innate immune system, the adaptive immune system, uh, interact with the my uh, interact directly with the myeloma cell to cause apoptosis, and within the entire microenvironment, hopefully have um, uh, control of myeloma. This was a, a, a again. This was the phase one, phase two portion of the study. We spent, we were very careful about the development and the dosing of the medication, and we landed on the 1.5 milligrams per kilogram every four weeks. And what I'll be presenting today is a, um, a, a 30 patient, both escalation and expansion at this dosing, this, uh, dosing cohort. Um, there are 30 patients. This is a uh, typical relapsed refractory patient population. Um, approximately 30% of the patients had uh, high-risk cytogenetics. The, these patients were heavily pretreated. There, the median prior lines of therapy was seven. Um, uh, 29 of the 30 had had prior CD38 monoclonal antibodies. Excuse me. Half the patients had had prior anti-BCMA therapy. 40% uh, of the patients were refractory to BCMA therapy. 93% were refractory to CD30 uh, monoclonal antibody therapy. 73% um, uh, of the patients were triple class refractory and penta exposed. So all of this is saying that this is a really heavily pretreated patient population. And again, half of these patients had prior BCMA uh, therapy. The toxicity, the primary toxicities of this were hematologic in nature, uh, primarily thrombocytopenia and neutropenia. With the four week dosing, um, as, per, as we learned, the blood counts would drop during the four weeks. And by the time they were ready for another dose, there would be recovery of the platelets and uh, the neutrophils. In terms of the uh, thrombocytopenia, there was one patient who had a significant bleeding event and that bleeding event resolved and the patient was able to continue on therapy. There were infections associated with the study, but the infections were not associated with neutropenia. From a response perspective, and again, this is a heavily pretreated patient population, of the 30 patients, the overall response rate was 43%. Of those 28 patients who were a refractory to CD38 monoclonal antibodies, the overall response rate was 39%, very similar. And of the 15 patients who had had prior BCMA therapy, the overall response rate was 27%, which leaves the 15 patients who uh, weren't refractory to, uh, to anti-BCMA therapy, their response rate was right at 60%. Um, we've had, in terms of the responses, we've had responses um, to uh, uh, patients who had had all different types of, of BCMA-targeted therapy, CAR T-cell, bispecific, antibody drug conjugate. Uh, and again, uh, we've had, uh, in the patients who had prior BCMA therapy, one patient with stringent complete remission, one patient with BGPR, and two patients with PRs. The, the responses um, can be durable. In fact, there's uh, one patient who's um, uh, been on treatment for um, um, over a year and a half, um, and with a median follow-up of uh, 5.2 months, um, the uh, median duration of response has yet to be reached. 
Um, and so in conclusion, Medakavus Alpha is a novel CD38 targeted attenuated interferon. It has, again, a unique mechanism of action. It's active in patients who've been or refractory to other to CD38 monoclonal antibodies. It's active in patients who've had uh, prior BCMA therapy. Moving forward, uh, we are moving forward with a randomized phase two study using fixed dosing at two different doses, which is essentially equivalent to 1.5 milligrams per kilogram and the MTD to three milligrams per kilogram so that we can get a better understanding of optimal dosing and toxicity.